The Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. The Prime Minister and this government continue their hypocrisy and virtue signalling with their vindictive mandates as airports are in disarray, people are blocked from travelling and others remain unable to return to their jobs. We'll hear in their response that they're following the science, but let me offer a quote on the government's mandates from a well-known infectious disease specialist, Dr. Isaac Bogosh. Quote, at the end of the day, the current pol policy probably isn't doing a whole lot, end quote. Their mandates aren't stopping the spread, they're not saving lives, they're hurting Canadians. When will the Prime Minister and this government end the mandates? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank my, my colleague for his collaboration on the Health Committee as well. I was also there when we heard from Dr. Bogosh, who has been a consistent and sage advocate for vaccines from the first day of this pandemic, and he was this morning on the news as well. It is incontrovertible that vaccines will continue to save lives in this country. Only in the last month, Mr. Speaker, over 1,800 Canadians died from COVID-19. We cannot wish COVID-19 away. We must continue to be vigilant. We must continue to ensure that our neighbours are aware of where they can get a third and a fourth dose. And we must be wearing our masks when we're in public. The Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes is trying to ask a question and his own side is over, I'm not sure what they're doing. Let's keep it down and let's let the honourable member ask his question. The honourable member, please rise. Mr. Speaker, they're excited to tell the parliamentary secretary that he should offer that advice to the prime minister who's out uh, not wearing his mask when he's in enclosed spaces, but he has people wear them when he doesn't. So let's, now that we've heard political spin, let's hear from another infectious disease specialist, Dr. Neil Rao. Quote, the policy seems to lag the science and it's become incredibly political. End quote. It's well past the time for the Prime Minister and this government to accept that dividing Canadians and pitting neighbour against neighbour was wrong. People want their jobs back, they want to travel, they want to be able to visit with their families. Is the Prime Minister finally ready to drop the politics of stigmatization and division and end the mandates? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Dr. Neil Rao is renowned in my community as well. He's helped my mother, and when I was traveling a lot, he supported our team when we were traveling. He's a very good infectious disease doc, but I would posit that it's this side that's making this political. Vaccines aren't political. They're not controversial. These vaccine mandates have done a very good job, and of course, all of the regulations and all of the public health restrictions are constantly being reviewed, as they will be. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member.